Hello everyone. On this video I will be comparing my recording on my vintage Funnay brand V30 30 minute, this is a 30 minute CVC cassette tape. Now, what I have on here right now is a 10 minute recording. It is a the very famous, wonderful, very funny, the Big Buck Bunny uh, open project. Uh, which uh, a lot of people use for uh, video uh, comparisons uh, because of the fact that there's a Creative Commons license for it where you can actually uh, sh show it, uh, for example, on YouTube videos like this one, uh, as long as you give credit uh, where credit is due, which I have, hopefully I've done correctly. And uh, so what I have here is my monitor. Uh, this is... Uh, a 43 aspect ratio monitor which is a little bit harder to find nowadays since everything's uh, pretty much widescreen nowadays but uh, since I like to collect these uh, vintage audio video units uh, I really needed a monitor that had that aspect ratio the 43 aspect ratio this had it uh, I really like the inputs on it uh, not only does it have the newer inputs uh, that would be your uh, HDMI connections uh, for and also your VGA connections uh, it also has the uh, analog uh, like your uh, BNC analog video as well as your RCA inputs uh, so yeah I love that monitor uh, specifically for my vintage video machines like uh, what I have on the left here is uh, actually bought that from the Goodwill, uh, nineteen ninety nine. Good deal. Still has the label on top. If you can see it right there, uh, it works perfectly. It's a DVD and a VHS player, two in one. What I really like about that unit is that it has both uh, outputs, uh, analog outputs, as well as the digital outputs. That would be the HDMI. Uh, I actually use that machine to be able to record onto this uh, tape. Let me show you what I originally used, and I did not like the the quality that I got. I went online and I, I tried to find a uh, converter. You know, this uh, converts from your HDMI input here. It uses a, a five volt power adapter, and what it does it it outputs uh, your RCA video outputs and as well as our RCA audio outputs uh, The reason I bought this one because it has so many settings on it uh, This is uh, two under scan settings as well as an over scan setting. Uh, it also has a pan and scan uh, Settings as well, but you know what I, I didn't really like the quality that came out of this uh, I had, So what I eventually did I went to uh, some extra steps it, was, it took me a little bit longer, but I think the quality that I wanted, I was able to achieve. I actually used that machine right there. What I did was I uh, recorded a DVD with my uh, the Big Buck Bunny video on it. I had to actually change the aspect on it. What I used was I used the uh, free program. You can find this online, totally free. Uh, it's, it's the Handbrake program. Uh, very feature rich uh, it's a free program uh, it's handbrake I've been using it for many years uh, since about two, 2012 I found out about it in 2012 and I've been using it uh, quite often I use it a lot recommend it uh, so what I did was I, uh, I downloaded obviously the uh, the big book bunny from the website you'll find it online uh, from the Creative Commons and I converted the aspect ratio for the DVD which is uh, 720 by 480 uh, dimensions uh, recording my DVD it's in there right now uh, it's a DVD RW I love the rewritable magnetic media so it's in there uh, and what I did well I transferred that DVD to my CVC machine right here. That's the uh, uh, TEAC -E brand, the TIC 
video. It's a very rare machine. I, there's very little info on it online. It's actually meant for airborne applications as well as police applications. Uh, th that's the machine I will be using today. It's actually my only CVC machine. I actually got uh, I got an interest in to uh, collecting the CVC format. Um, not too long ago, maybe about a year ago. I actually bought that machine six months ago. And uh, I bought it on eBay. Uh, it's very rare. I love the features on it, the quality that comes out of it. I mean, considering that it's, it's such an... The, the, you're only able to record 240 scan lines of resolution on these tapes. But the, 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 what, what comes out of it is incredible. I mean, it's, it's, obviously it's not going to be HD, but it's, it's enjoyable. And uh, it's, it's a piece of history. Uh, I'm pretty sure it must, might have been used uh, military applications, police, airborne, jets, fighter jets. They, they, they use this machine to read the, the recordings they would record on it, uh, on their airplanes, jets, uh, police vehicles, uh, military vehicles. Uh, I bought it. Uh, it. The seller told me, I don't know if it works. I haven't tested it. I don't have the time. I don't have the tapes. I was able to find uh, 39 of these tapes. Brand new sealed uh, from uh, multiple sellers. I have another video where I really get into the details on that. But uh, For this video, I want to focus on the, uh, the kind of video quality that comes out of this machine. Uh, maybe, maybe you have a, a machine. Maybe not this one. Maybe another one. Maybe the... I don't know, there's so many machines that were made uh, during the 80s. Uh, CVC, uh, I believe uh, Canon made one, a portable one, Canon. As well, uh, uh, Fun A made some, uh, the Technicolor, uh, the uh, Munz, Grundig. I'm pretty sure I'm missing a, a whole lot of other companies that made these machines. Uh, that's just, just uh, an example of how many machines there were. Maybe uh, we can uh, kind of compare them. Compare the quality that you'll get from uh, this machine compared to maybe the machine that you have or maybe you want to buy. Maybe you want to get into the, uh, collecting the CVC format. Uh, consider to some as a failed format. It, it wasn't really long lived. It had its downsides. It pretty much had more downsides than the upside. Well, one of the upsides is the size. It's pretty much the same size as an audio cassette. Uh, this is a 30 minute tape. I have a couple of the one hour tapes. I did not use the one hour. I only use the 30 since I'm only making a 10 minute recording on it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you the uh, quality that comes out of this. Uh, as you can tell, my screen is kind of half and half right now. What on the left is going to be, I'm going to be showing the uh, DVD quality. I'm, I'm actually doing this to be, uh, do like... They call it an apples to apples comparison. I'm obviously not gonna compare it to the original, which is uh, 1080p HD, because uh, that wouldn't be fair, because I actually did not transfer that to the CVC. I transferred the DVD quality, 720 by 480p, onto the CVC. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and put this in my uh, CVC machine right here. I have another video where I really get into details about this machine. But for now, I just want to get into the quality. Very tough machine, built like a tank, literally. So there we go, it's, it's on right now. You can see the uh, LED counter, which really was not uh, available for the uh, consumer CVC machines. They mostly had the turn type uh, counter on it. As you can see, it has some soft touch buttons, which was also something very rare for CVC machines. Um, I'm not really going to get into the uh, specific settings and uh, features on this machine. I mostly want to get into the quality. I'll, I'll make another video about each individual uh, feature on this machine. Uh, maybe I'll just tell tell you a little bit about it right now. It has a video enhancer, it has a time-based correction, it has a, 
uh, frame by frame image search, both forwards and back. I mean, it had event recording. You can record events. It records a little bit of information on the tape. It doesn't affect either the video or the audio quality, but uh, it'll, it'll actually pause if you wanted to. There's a switch on it. Uh, it'll pa either pause or beep, make an audible beep on that speaker right there. They call it a monitor. And they'll let you know when the new event that you preset on it. There's a button on it, uh, on there that you press and it records an event. They call it EMK recording. Uh, beautiful machine. I've already opened it. I've seen the inside. It has so much technology that wasn't really available in the 80s. But you know, when uh, the military and the government, they want their machines, they have to have the latest and greatest. Uh, so let me go ahead and uh, put play on both my DVD and my CVC machine. And they'll both be playing on the screen, so you kind of compare both the uh, original DVD and the uh, CVC, the 240 scan lines video which I believe it's, I don't remember off the top of my head how many scan lines you get on a VHS, but anyway, CVC records 240 scan lines. All right, there we go. So I'll try to kind of synchronize this as much as I can. I know this is not a very expert set up here but uh it gets the job done I, and also i don't know if it's ever been done before which is what's really great about youtube i don't think i don't know if anybody's been done such a thing as to record something so modern if you will like the big buck bunny video open project on uh on such an old format vintage format it's a CVC. So there we go. My DVD player is working. And there we go. They're both uh, displaying video right there. And obviously, you, you can tell, like the grass, for example. You're going to see a lot more detail on the DVD then on the uh, CVC, it's not 100% synchronized, but you get the idea. Uh, but to tell you the truth, considering the age and the fact that it only records 240 scan lines, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad, really. Uh, it, it, the video is going to pause right now. I did that intentionally. Because I, I really wanted to be able to kind of pause in a specific area so you can really focus on the quality. Right now you can see the grass right there. Uh, if you compare the grass of the DVD to the CVC, it, it's lower obviously. But it's, it's not bad. It's not really not, not that bad. I mean, it's enjoyable. Uh, for instance, I do plan to use this machine quite a bit. I get a kick out of using vintage machines, uh, especially when they're so rare like this one. Uh, there's very little info on it online, because like I told you, it's not a consumer machine. It's made for police and government and uh, maybe NASA. I, I don't know. I did find an article, uh, a, a magazine article not on this machine, on the recorder that went on the uh, airplanes, jets. Uh, talking a little bit about it, maybe I'll show you that on another video. So yeah, that's, there's a video. It's, uh, it, it's not bad, not that bad compared to the DVD. And uh, you know what? When I bought this machine, like I told you, I went on a limb. I trusted that it was going to work. And you know what? It works perfectly. Everything on it works. I know it's old. I don't know where it's been. It's pretty much in good shape. I mean, there's a big scratch on top. You know what? You'll find an image of this machine 
on Google Images. It's still on there. You know, whenever you uh, post something on eBay, uh, the image of your item will stay on Google Images for quite a while. I mean, it's almost been six months now and it's still there. Uh, so yeah, it, it's what I eventually want to do with this machine. I want to enjoy, I, I love the classic sci-fi and horror films from the 80s. I would get a kick out of being able to transfer from my DVD collection those vintage 80s movies onto the CVC format, which, like I told you, it was it's considered a failed format. But to me, I can kind of uh, use it. Like if it never failed, like if it's still going on. Uh, it's, it's pretty neat to be able to collect these rare vintage machines and uh, to be able to use them as well. And like I told you, I don't know if this, this is, uh, has ever been done. But uh, it's pretty neat. I mean, the quality uh, is not bad. The color. The color is not bad either. Uh, it, you have to consider that uh, this, with these magnetic media, the color always kind of fades away. Oh, and by the way, these tapes are original. These are from 1980-something. Uh, probably 86 at most. And they still work. They still record. I did. I made this recording about two days ago. And uh, you know what? I've been wanting to make this video for such a long time. Uh, for about the past five months. But I didn't, haven't really had time. Because I know that uh, this, this is a hobby. And it's not a cheap hobby. It's expensive. And also, it's a very time-consuming hobby to dedicate the time to find these machines, also to repair them. I mean, if you can repair them yourself, that's wonderful. I have a little bit of knowledge of how to change belts, how to uh, grease moving parts, how to change transistors, how to change capacitors. Uh, your basic stuff, my father taught me all of this uh, back when I was a kid. He passed away when I was 15. But I still have the knowledge that he gave me about these machines. So I'm going to use this machine if, if for any reason in the future it needs maintenance, I know how to do it. What's neat about this machine is that it came with a manual. It's not just any manual. I mean, it is huge. This is a manual that came with it, and look at it, it's uh, pretty much a phone book. <laughs> it's so neat. It, you know what, it, this has step-by-step -step instructions. It's something that you won't find on modern manuals, if they even come with a manual. They mostly come with PDF files you can download. I don't think this is available on a PDF. It would be neat. Maybe, maybe if you have this machine and you can really use a manual, maybe I can make a PDF for you. That would be pretty neat. Uh, so this is a manual and has step-by-step -step instructions uh, how to clean the heads, how to demagnetize the machine, how to adjust everything. I mean, this has schematics. This has part numbers. This is, I had no idea it came with a manual. This, uh, when I received this machine, uh, when I saw this manual, it was like a bonus for me. It's, it's neat when you can have a manual for something like this. This is from 1986, but to tell you the truth, it has features that weren't really seen in consumer models, at least till the 90s. So it's, it's ahead of its time. Uh, let me just show you just this manual. I mean, while you're seeing the video here, <laughs> very funny. I mean, look at this. These are schematics, and these pages, they're not just regular size, they, they, they unfold. So they're incredibly detailed. They put a lot of work and effort into this manual, uh, and I love having it. It's, 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 it's like one complete package. It actually came with an inspection sheet. 
from uh, somebody that uh, was probably paid to uh, work on these machines back in the days. This is from 1990. It's dated June 6th. Uh, has signature, Mr. Michael Aponte. And it says everything that he checked that day. I mean, stuff like this is like, it's, 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 it's history. I, I, I love it. It's wonderful. And you know what? I have many vintage machines. I mean, I have, I have cameras that record video onto audio cassettes, for example. But you know what? They're, they're, they're so common. Usually you'll find videos for those machines all over YouTube. I have not been able to find... Not only have not, I not been able to find info, I haven't find, found any kind of videos on it, uh, which I'm really happy to make. I mean, I, I think this machine deserves to have a video on YouTube simply because it's so rare. And it's a wonderful example of how the, the government and, and the, the military has such advanced machines compared to the commercial machines that we can we can go ahead and buy back in the 80s back in the uh, sears the montgomery ward stores uh, the woolworths back in those days back when it was still woolworth if you remember that um so yeah well the video is pretty much over and i'll probably uh, stop the video pretty soon uh i'll make another video where I go into details on each of these settings on this. It has so many settings. It's, it's incredible. In a 1980s hits scene with uh, time-based correction. I've seen that in the JVC HRS uh, 9500 and up, which were made like in 1995. And, and this machine has it. This, this machine has time-based correction. Uh, incredible. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and I welcome all your comments. Maybe you've worked on this machine in the past. Uh, maybe you have experiences with it. Uh, I've been so nice to know more information about it. I mean, I have so many questions. I don't know what this machine has seen. I don't know if it's seen spy videos from a spy plane. I don't know. Uh, I'll be pretty neat to know. Uh, so thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, see you next time.